Sometimes we hurt each other's feelings by mistake or lash out when we're angry. Bullying is different. Bullying is hurting someone on purpose. Some examples of bullying are name calling, physically hurting someone, excluding them from a group, or posting mean things about them online. So, why do people bully? Oftentimes, the people who bully are hurting from something in their own lives. Bullying may make someone feel powerful at school if they feel helpless at home. This does not make bullying okay, but it can be useful to understand why it might be happening. If you find yourself bullying other people, talk to a trusted adult or counselor about it to help figure out what might be driving you to act this way. You can work through your hurt with help and start to have real friendships. Meet Amber. Amber used to love school, but now she hates going because she feels like there is no one she can trust. When other students make fun of her for wearing the same clothes, her so called friends don't stand up for her and even join in. Sometimes people call Amber fat and it really hurts her feelings, but she is too embarrassed to tell anyone. The bullying continued daily. Amber started being alone more and stopped talking in class. Thankfully, Amber's favorite teacher noticed and got her to open up so the bullying could be addressed. You may have heard the saying. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. This is not true. What people say and do to you can have lasting effects on how you feel about yourself and others. You deserve to feel safe and happy at school. If you witness bullying, you can help make it stop. Don't keep quiet. Reach out to the person being bullied by letting them know that you saw what happened. Tell an adult, or if you feel safe to do so, tell the bully to stop. If everyone works together, we can put an end to bullying.